Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm like Brett Favre without the gusseted crotch. Keep it going, everybody. That was a great job by Brian with the music and Asian gookskin with the comedy. Very nice, Asian. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm the representative for white people west of the Rockies. This is my certificate of completion. We took an 80-hour class. That's two weeks. That's 10 days of hot, open face, some type of sandwich. That's what kind of class that was. This is all supposed to be on a PowerPoint so I can present to you guys. Uh, we don't have the capability. And I tried to print up what they gave me. When the government sends you stuff, this is what happens when you try and print it. So forgive me, I have a few notes. Uh, where did he go? Finn, who was up here, the homeless comic, mentioned that I was a union guy. I'm a retired union worker. I built skyscrapers. I poured concrete. I miss the old days. Like when I'm driving around, if I see a porta potty, I'll pull over and take a nap. I like that. <laughs> I got to vent a little. We went on a cruise. My wife and I have been married 21 years, so I'll take an applause break here. <laughs> Thank you. So to celebrate, I took her mother and father, my three children. They all got to bring a friend. We went on a cruise, and they have an adult beverage package. For $50 a day, you can drink all the beer you can. Mistake number one, I'm fucking Irish. Stan can attest to the fact that it's not uncommon for me to drink 20 beers when I come out. So when I found out $7 a beer on the cruise, all I have to do is drink eight a day and I'm making money. <laughs> Fucking game on, bitches. I was all for it. I drank 15 beers the first day and they came the next morning. The guy had a bottle opener with a knife in it. He scraped the sticker off my card, said, obviously you're cheating the system somehow. I'm sorry, we're not cheating the system. They finally turned it back on. I used the money I saved to buy a wedding band at cruise ship prices. I don't know if you guys have ever been on a cruise, but this is like 193 bucks. That's how much I saved drinking. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we were at a show and somebody assaulted me in the parking lot. And I was just minding my business. I was in the parking lot smoking weed and drinking shots of whiskey because they don't have a bar inside the place. And the guy came up and he pushed me and luckily I grabbed the trunk of my car, I didn't fall down, he pushed me again. After he pushed me the third time, I said, fuck this, and I went around the other side of the car and I got my gun out. Like, I'm not a lunatic, I wasn't gonna kill the guy because then you're obligated to give the widow frankincense and myrrh, whatever it says in the Bible. I was just gonna, you know, he's, he loses his mind, he's like, you pull a gun on me, you pussy, and I'm thinking, first of all, I decide who's the pussy, I have the gun. Second of all, you keep running your mouth, I'm gonna pussy a hole on top of your foot. Now, I go home after the show, and I'm drunk, and I'm nervous. There's a black SUV parked in the street across from my house. You guys watch movies. The movie people, the, what do they show up SUVs? Always assassins, true or false? And I'm thinking, this fucking guy knows assassins that he could send to my house? Now, we've all been there. I'm trying to back my brand new BMW 750 into the driveway, so you watch it on the monitor. You've all been there. You know what I'm... But I see this SUV, and now I'm trying to back in with a gun in my hand because I think it's assassins. The door's open. I'm trying to not crash into the garage for the second time in 10 months. I took the garage door out once. It was fucking awesome. My wife and her friend get out of the SUV, and I'm like, oh, okay, at least, you know, things are cool. Her friend says hello. She drives home. My wife and I go in the house. I said, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. My wife snorted. She's like... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, imagine. She just made this little noise, and I said, why did you do that? She said, when you say the words, you're not going to believe what happened to me, it never involves things that happen to normal people. And, you know, that sounds a little crude, but here's a little list of things that make that true. In the fall, we went to a marriage encounter. That's where you go and you let God try and help save your marriage or whatever they're doing. And when they mentioned God, I was like, shit, he's the spokesman for Christian Mingle. This is going to be expensive. Within 45 minutes of getting there, I had to tell this guy, Churchy Lafemme, to go fuck himself. And they were going to throw me out. Now, obviously, it was a misunderstanding on his part. He apologized. The time before that, I paralyzed myself from the waist down, stealing boulders to landscape my front yard. This is a true story. The time before that, I blew the freckles off my face in a gas explosion. I have a scar on the side of my head from a fucking falcon. Does anybody else have a falcon scar on their head? No. I have a friend named Mark. He's a fucking looney tune. His father, we call him one-eyed dick to bone smuggler. He's an artist. He brings ivory back. In New York City, they had pigs and chickens and goats in the yard. We walk in the house and he says duck, and I'm thinking, I don't want to step on a baby duck, you know, they're adorable. And I look down and I got hit in the head with a falcon. 
He's the tallest guy in the house at 5'9". Anything bigger is the Falcon's airspace. Motherfucker, if you'd have said Falcon, I would have ducked. I guarantee it. Now, after 21 years, my wife has a pet name for me. Anybody want to guess what it is? I'll save you the embarrassment. It's Don't. That's the nickname she had. Don't. That's her pet name. That started when my youngest son, when my oldest son was born. We were having his communion, chris, christening, whatever you call it as a Catholic. I got stoned. Yay, stoned. And I picked out pieces of dog food from kibbles and bits and bits. The little ones look like dog bones. I mixed them with peanuts and cashews and pretzel sticks and served them as a trail mix because I don't like my wife's family. My wife is half Italian and half Irish. So I have three kids between 17 and 20. Their entire lives I've been telling them they're part African because we all know Africans invaded Italy and that's why Italians have dark skin and dark eyes. So the joke here is that I actually had a case of jungle fever. It was just a mild case. <laughs> I'll let that sink in for a minute. Now, before I go, I want to just, I want to, Promote medical marijuana. I've been using medical marijuana for about 10 years. Yes. For 20 years before that, it was recreational use. But once I found out it was legal to get a thing, I saw a commercial yesterday for a drug called Risperdal. They prescribed it to adolescent boys who had the following. ADHD, depression and anxiety, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or autism. And what this drug did is causes female breasts that lactate, that means give milk, and requires breast reduction surgery. And I'm thinking, you gave this medicine to your kid because he was getting bullied. Don't you think it's worse? Like, he was fine as an autistic kid. Now he's got leaky girl boobs. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Gilligan. Thanks for having me. See you next week. Give it up for our host.